guys, I'm back with another video. How are you guys doing? How you been since my last video? Been good? Two seconds ago, I just broke my thumbnail, so I could be doing better, but I could also be doing worse. Anyways, in today's video, we're gonna be testing out some more Instagram beauty hacks. These videos are so much fun. I've done them a bunch on my channel. We have kind of like a series going on. I asked you guys on Twitter if there was any new Instagram beauty hacks that you've been seeing floating around and I have seen some of them that I'm curious about. So I picked out a few of those and today we're gonna test them out and see if they're whack, see if they're cool. You get the idea. Anyways, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and join my S Club if you're not subscribed already. Also, if you speak another language and you want to translate some videos on my channel, I would love you forever because that would mean that S Club all over the world could watch my videos, which would be dope. But anyways, let's get started with busting these Instagram hacks. So the first beauty hack is a DIY face mask. You guys know I love face masks, but I've honestly seen this one around Instagram so many times. I kind of find it gross, and that's because it's basically putting an egg like all over your face, and that kind of grosses me out a little bit, but ah, I almost dropped the egg! That would have been so bad. I almost dropped the egg, and it would have cracked all over my carpet. Anyways, I decided that I do have to do it. That was one of the hacks that you wanted me to test out. So I'm gonna put an egg all over my face for you guys. You're welcome. Honestly, this one's like a viral DIY face mask. I've seen it so many times. Apparently, all you need for this amazing DIY peel off face mask is an egg and some toilet paper. Weird combination. I broke up the toilet paper into like little squares so I have smaller pieces to work with. I don't have a table. I'll use my knees. This is a recipe for disaster. Oh God. <laughs> I need just the egg white. So I, oh God, this is gonna be hard. Ah, it's falling. I can't, oh, I can't cook either. So I have no idea how to do this. Ah, I failed. The yolk is now inside the bowl. Now I'm gonna have to try and scoop it out because that was such a fail. Oh, now I have to make sure I don't break it. Success! The yolk is now back in the shell. Now that I literally just have egg whites in here, take my handy dandy toilet paper, put it on my face. Maybe this is too thick. It didn't really specify like if you need like one ply toilet paper or two ply. You know your girl's more of a two ply kind of kind of gal. I'll try just the one ply first. So the pieces in the video seem just a little bit smaller than this giant square tissue. So I'm gonna cut mine in half. And then basically just dip my brush that I'm using to apply into the egg white, put it on my face. And then now it's gonna be able to stick. And this is how we're gonna create our mask. So I guess the idea behind this is that it creates a nice peel off mask. It says egg whites have astringent properties that help shrink pores by tightening the skin. So you can apply it on your whole face or large pore affected areas. Oh. Okay, not gonna lie, this is a little bit tricky to apply. It could just be because I'm a moron. I honestly was so against doing this because it really is just grossing me out that I have an unborn chicken on my face right now. So I decided just using like the one ply is a lot better. So far this does take a little bit of time, but by all means, if it works and you want to have a little relaxing spa day, you can take some time to put some egg whites on your face. Okay, finally, I have it all on my face. In some areas I can already feel it kind of tightening. So I'm gonna wait for it to dry and I will get back to you guys so we can peel this baby off and see what happens. So I'm back. It's been about 15 minutes for it to completely harden. It's hard for me to talk. Something I found was pretty cool is that it felt cold, like a cooling sensation like I get with my other like high-end masks. So I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. So now let's peel it off and see if my pores are smaller or if I look more radiant or what the deal is. Oh, that's satisfying. There's a peeling noise. Can you hear it? It doesn't hurt or anything. It's like coming off all at once. I'm really impressed with that. So for the most part, it all came off in one piece. This is it. As far as it making my pores look smaller, honestly, I don't see a difference. I don't know, maybe I have to use it pretty regularly to see a difference. So this Instagram hack gets a eh for me. Let me know down below if you've tried this multiple times and if you actually think it really works, because I wanna know. And the next beauty hack that we're testing out is another way to apply your foundation. It's like a substitute for the beauty blender. If you remember, I did applying foundation with a condom. So it's a similar idea to that, but instead of a condom, we're using a balloon. So I've seen two different ways of doing this. One of them, you fill up a balloon with lotion, and the other one, you fill up a balloon with flour. So basically, all she does is have her balloon and literally just pumps lotion inside of it. Oh God, is it going in? Guess you have to use like quite a bit of lotion to get this to work. Okay, I made a giant mess. Basically, I'm just trying to squeeze the tip of it so then there's no lotion coming out and it's all just kind of getting packed in there. I think I have enough lotion in there. I'm gonna try and squeeze it down. It's gonna be so difficult to tie this because my hands are so slippery. This is so hard. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna pour flour in another balloon and I'll do one side of my face with a lotion balloon and the other side with a flour balloon and see which one applies foundation better, if it can do it at all. I'm gonna fill it up off cam. Basically, you get the idea. You just gotta pour the flour in the balloon and just fill it up as best you can. Okay, so I'm back and not gonna lie, it was a lot harder to fill this one with flour. Like, look at this little nub. It's mostly because I didn't have a funnel. So I'm gonna apply this one on the right side of my face. It makes a weird sound. It's really bouncy. Whee, it's like a bouncy ball. I also probably didn't have to use as much foundation than I normally would. I see here I used a little bit too much and that's probably because it's not a sponge so it's not gonna soak it up. I'm not really used to that. It's definitely hard to get like in my nose here. Okay, no, no, no. I thought that was working, but it's not. So this one's definitely not as bouncy. Okay, I thought the other one was hard. This one is actually really hard because when flour is all packed up together like that, it's really dense. So it's blending out the foundation really, really quickly. I don't like the way it's applying over the blemishes on my forehead though. Kind of makes them look even worse to me. All right, so I've applied the foundation with both sides and I'm not mad at either of them. They both can apply. You just have to be more careful to make sure you're blending everything out. I really don't think this is a great great method if you have dry skin because I don't know what it is maybe because it's not wet or like the rubber makes your dry patches honestly so much worse so anywhere where I have like flaking or dryness it really just accentuates like the flakiness and on both sides it does cake up on your nose because it can't quite get in there to blend them out it's not the worst foundation application I've ever done and I would definitely use this in an emergency situation I guess or if you're really really tight on money I know beauty blenders are quite expensive but even then I think I would just stick to a beauty sponge from the drugstore that you can get for like five bucks. So the next Instagram beauty hack that we're gonna put to the test is baking your concealer with baby powder. So that seems kind of crazy. I don't really know what's in here. So I would not recommend you doing this without doing your own research because who knows, I could lose an eye after this. So it says, keep powder away from your child's face to avoid inhalation, which can cause breathing problems and avoid contact with the eyes. So baking happens right underneath your eyes. I don't think this is safe to use as a baking powder. But why do I see so many videos of people doing it on Instagram? Okay, I'm gonna try it just this once for the sake of the video. But even if it works absolutely amazing and perfectly, I would not recommend doing it because it literally says right on the bottle, avoid contact with your eyes. I'm just gonna apply my concealer like normal and blend it out with my beauty blender. All right, time to set with baby powder. I love the smell of baby powder, oh my god. But it says not to inhale it, oh god, I just killed myself. And now I'll just dip my damp beauty blender in there and bake without trying to get it in my eyeball because I'm not trying to go blind here. All right, so now I'm gonna just dust it off. After dusting it off, even though I can still see there's a lot of white left over, it did set my under eyes. I mean, it is a powder. So it should mattify the concealer and keep it into place even if it's baby powder. Moment of truth, let's do the flash test because that's what counts. Wow, so I'm actually pretty impressed because it doesn't give insane flashback, what the heck? Why can't some drugstore translucent powders that are actually meant to do that not give flashback? I'm gonna take this off pretty soon because I'm kind of freaked out, but it does actually work. So whoever figured this out, I mean, you might be a genius, but you might also be killing us. So don't do this one. So the next Instagram beauty hack is how to do DIY fake freckles. And I think it's actually legit, is using whatever this is called. It says on the pack that it's fine pore stipple. And I got this from like a dance store that sells special effects makeup. This is like a very popular tool in special effects makeup to like give things texture and things like that. It was only five bucks for like this whole thing. So if this does give me really natural looking freckles and it's quick to apply, I'm totally down. But I'm gonna just use Anastasia's brow pomade and try and dip it into that. And then all she does in the video is just like push it down on her skin and she ends up with like really beautiful natural looking freckles okay the only thing is I think I would cut off the corners of the sponge that's the only thing that's kind of making it look less natural so this beauty hack definitely worked it gave me so many freckles I think if I were to put powder or something over top and try and blend them in maybe press with my beauty blender they would look more legit because right now it's just kind of everywhere next time I'll just cut off the corners of the sponge to make it round so you're not seeing any harsh lines or anything like that and I feel like if you take a little bit more time doing it than I did today they can look so much more natural and really beautiful so I say that this Instagram hack work. Now the next hack is a tip to help perfect your winged eyeliner. So really all you need is these like floss things. What are these even called? I don't even know. Flossers. It literally just says it's called flosser. Am I the only one that didn't know that? Anyway, so I'm going to use a flosser and all you're supposed to do is just coat your thread with the liquid liner so it's just completely covered and then you just press it where you would want your angle to be. Oh my god, I think that actually worked. And now I'm going to apply the second line just above it. 
Okay, that one was definitely harder to do. Let's try it again. Hmm, it's kind of hard because the plastic is getting in the way. You definitely need to keep your eye closed. And I'm gonna just try and go over it one more time. I made it worse, I think. Now I'm just gonna fill it in because I don't think I can make it any better. Let me try it again on the other side. So the first line is really easy. Like that worked really, really well. I spoke too soon, I think. The second line is where I have trouble. My eye shape is just not letting the string completely lay flat. Hmm. Kind of gave me a second line there and I'm just gonna fill that in and meet it to my lash line. But now I'm kind of doing all the work, so defeats the whole purpose of that thing. Honestly, I'm gonna say that this is a fail because it was hard. Didn't make the lines perfectly straight. I don't know if it's because my eye shape, it's kind of like a dull wing, not my best wing. I'm gonna stick to the old fashioned way of doing your wing liner. So the next Instagram hack that we're gonna test out is applying your false lashes underneath your lash line, which is kind of crazy. And it seems like it would be very uncomfortable, but this definitely has taken Instagram by storm. I've seen some people try it out on YouTube. So we're gonna put it to the test today too. So we can see if it looks more natural or if it's just really painful. So first you apply some mascara just like normal I'm just gonna apply the glue on the band of the eyelash. I feel like this is honestly just gonna get glue in my eye So I'm just gonna lift my lash like this. No, 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 no I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I think I just blinded myself to be honest. All right, so I've come to the conclusion that I'm gonna have to just cut it in half because I don't think that there's any way I can get the whole band underneath my real lashes in one try. All right, I just applied it on my lashes right underneath them. You definitely don't wanna be putting it on your waterline cause that hurts. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in and place the second piece. So I'm just gonna do the one eye cause you can get the idea. So honestly, it was a little bit tricky to apply. I had to cut the lashes in half. I feel like if you're not used to applying falsies regularly, this is gonna be even harder for you than the normal way to do it. I don't think this is very healthy for your natural lashes because you are placing the glue on your natural lashes cause you can't really put it on, you know, the water line up there. So the falsies are just hanging off your natural lashes. So I'm gonna say that this Instagram hack is a, for me, personally, in my opinion, don't get mad at me if you like doing this, okay? Next hack. So now we're on the last Instagram beauty hack that we're gonna be testing out, and that is gonna be using some Gillette shaving cream to remove our makeup. All she did was take the shaving cream and apply it, oh, on her face. Maybe I can apply it on my hand and then on my face because that seems to be a little bit easier. I'm really concerned putting this on your face because it's not meant for your face, you know? So does it have ingredients that will break me out? That is the question. Maybe if I was like traveling and I really had no makeup wipes, no makeup remover, and I had to use my boyfriend's Gillette shaving cream, then maybe I would do it. So when is this gonna start taking my makeup off? That's what I wanna know. I'm gonna take a piece of paper towel and just wipe it off. One swipe to see if it did a good job. Wow, you guys, it actually took off my foundation. So you can definitely see it took off all the makeup where I had it on. I'm afraid to put it on my eye to try and remove my eye makeup, but she did that in the video, so I'm sure it's okay. Like maybe it doesn't burn, but honestly, I'm too terrified. Like this has a strong scent to it, and I feel like it's not really meant to go near your eye, so I'm not gonna do that. This Instagram beauty hack is a, unless it makes me break out tomorrow, then it's a, We'll see. So those are all the hacks that we have to test out today. If you guys have some other Instagram beauty hacks that you're curious about, let me know down below. Turn my post notifications on if you came this far in the video. That means you love me and you want to see when my videos are up. So please turn them on. I love you so much. Thank you. And that's all for now. Let me know which one of these hacks was your favorite. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Oh wait, also watch my most recent upload if you haven't watched it already. And subscribe over there if you're not subscribed already. Bye. Peace.